Bennu is a space rock uh, that was intercepted by this spacecraft Osiris Rex five years ago. It it briefly touched the surface of the 260 meter uh, asteroid, scooped up 120 grams and brought that back to Earth. And some of that ended up at the Natural History Museum in London. Uh, scientists there have been collaborating as part of an international team to do this big chem uh, chemical analysis of what's actually on the asteroid. And they have found these pre-solar grains. Now, these are uh, material, bits of material, which uh, condensed um, around, uh, which contains a material which is from the dying stars and actually predates uh, the sun. Um, and, and they also found a, a smorgasbord of organic material from the outer solar system and also the interstellar medium. Now, this is the gas and dust that's actually between the stars, uh, as well as high temperature material thought to have formed close to the sun uh, and then moved outwards. Now, uh, they think that Bennu has its origins in the outer uh, solar system, perhaps beyond the orbit of uh, of Saturn, uh, and it just been moving around the solar system for the last 4.5 billion years. So it is an extraordinary, extraordinary time capsule uh, of what the early solar system was like. This is important because it is a time capsule. It's uncontaminated. For example, like meteorites that crash through our uh, atmosphere, uh, they undergo chemical and physical changes. But by going out into the void of space, you can sample the asteroid as it is. Uh, and that not only helps us understand what the solar system was in those very early uh, periods, but also why life is habitable, or why the, why the Earth is habitable uh, now, uh, that these asteroids are thought to have bombarded the planet early in its life, bringing the building blocks, bringing water, creating the conditions that allow, allowed life to evolve here.